Last, we'll install a PC card wireless adapter into a notebook computer's PC card slot. Just like the USB and PCI card wireless adapters, we first have to run an application that will install the drivers for the card onto the computer and install the configuration utility. This wireless adapter is made by Netgear, so the install will be a little different. It's giving us a prompt to check for a newer version of the program online. We already checked on Netgear's website for a newer version, and the one on this CD is the latest, so we'll install from the CD. It's a good idea to check for the latest version of the install program for your wireless adapters. The version on the CD that comes with the adapter might be outdated, so go to the maker's website to check for a newer version. It says the driver hasn't passed Windows logo testing, and it's warning us that the driver for this device might cause system instability. We're going to trust that Netgear made a good driver and click continue. If you get this prompt when you install one of your adapters, just make sure you make a note of it. If you have problems with the adapter, you can always return it and get a different model with better Microsoft approved drivers. It's telling us to insert our wireless PC card. To do this, we need to first remove a placeholder card in the PC card slot. There's an eject button, and the placeholder slides out. Hold the PC card so that the logo is facing up, and slide it in. You'll feel some resistance at the end, and it stops. This is true whether your notebook has a slot for a PC card, card bus, or express card slot. They all go in the same way. If the wireless PC card isn't detected by Windows, you may have the PC card slot turned off in the power configuration of your notebook. The power management program will usually be shown as an icon down by the clock. Check your notebook's manual for instructions on enabling the PC card slot. We'll enable the slot, and Windows sees the adapter. It's asking if we want to check online for a driver. We'll tell it no since the driver is on the computer. We get the prompt again about the driver not being Microsoft certified. The adapter's installed. The Netgear software wants to know what country we're in. It wants us to choose whether we'll use the Netgear configuration utility or the one built into Windows. We'll choose the Netgear one for now. That's the end of Section 2. In Section 3, we'll take a look at the router's configuration and get it ready for all the computers to connect.